Osteoporosis underscore how to prevent osteoporosis. One of the problems with osteoporosis is that it doesn't have any obvious symptoms until it reaches advanced stages, when fractures occur that alert us to its presence. Osteoporosis is a disease of the bone system that can be caused by bone decalcification, vitamin D deficiency, or genetic factors. It occurs when bony parts undergo wear to their internal microstructure, reducing their density and support capacity. Read this article to learn more about osteoporosis. When osteoporosis occurs, the risk of fractures increases, and inflammatory reactions and severe pains are generated. Although osteoporosis is a common condition in the elderly, some may suffer from it prematurely due to injuries or habits that deteriorate the bones. The most troubling fact is that many still don't know how serious it can be, and due to the absence of symptoms, they are unaware of their condition. For this reason it's essential to know how osteoporosis develops. If you have any of the risk factors, you should consult your doctor. 1. Risk Factors Weakening of the bones usually occurs because of low calcium and vitamin D absorption, especially upon reaching old age. Deficiency of these nutrients reduces bone density and can cause fractures and irreversible damage in the face of injuries or illnesses. This situation can occur because of genetic factors, although it is also associated with the hormonal changes that are suffered in adulthood. Excessive consumption of tobacco and alcohol also influence the development of osteoporosis. The decrease in estrogen levels during and after menopause is another related cause. You are more likely to develop this disease if you suffer from anorexia or bulimia. 2. Symptoms. Unfortunately, this disease is what is known as a silent enemy. It does not manifest itself with obvious symptoms until it becomes a more serious problem. Oftentimes, detection occurs when a person has a fracture before she knows that she is suffering from the disease. This injury can occur without any significant trauma or injuries taking place. It is possible to suspect the presence of osteoporosis when a person loses to 2 to 3 inches or more in height. Some people develop what is known as widow's hump, a condition characterized by hunched posture. 3. Detection. To detect the disease, a medical study called BMD, which consists of measuring bone mineral density, should be performed. It is a low radiation X-ray that does not take much time to carry out, nor does it cause pain. Perusal of the spine and hip may indicate a fracture. Common X-rays of other bones are usually not as accurate to know if this condition exists. 4. Prevention. While there are many factors that can lead to their development, the continuous practice of healthy habits is decisive to minimize the risks. Thus, it is essential to ensure optimal absorption of calcium and vitamin D by including foods that contain these vitamins in your diet. The National Osteoporosis Foundation NOF, recommends the intake of 1,000 mg of calcium per day for adults, and 1,200 mg per day for women over 50 years old and men over 70 years old. You should limit your consumption of sodium and saturated fats, as they hinder calcium absorption. It's important to increase the absorption of magnesium, as it also helps to conserve bone density. Daily exercise is very beneficial, since it serves to strengthen bones and improve coordination and balance. Check out this article, The Differences Between Arthritis, Osteoarthritis, and Osteoporosis 5. Medication to Stop or Reverse the Problem. Currently, there are drugs to fight bone density loss, which helps avoid serious problems such as fractures. Among these are bisphosphonates, which prevent bone wasting by inactivating cells known as osteoclasts, which absorb bone tissue. Calcium and vitamin D supplements are also recommended, especially when food absorption is difficult. Estrogen treatments help prevent and combat the disease in the case of menopausal women. 6. Side Effects of Treatment Although drugs for treating this disease may be effective, it's important to know that, in most cases, continued use of them may cause side effects. Among the side effects are, joint and muscular pain, esophageal damage, heartburn, arrhythmias and heart palpitations. On the other hand, we should mention that although they can treat osteoporosis effectively, the drugs mentioned above have a deadline to take effect. This means that after about three years, it is necessary to analyze how much these medicines have helped, and what negative effects they may have had. 
In certain cases, it's necessary to halt consumption of medication for a time since continued use is dangerous. The best way to cope with osteoporosis is prevention and knowledge about osteoporosis. For this reason, if you have any risk factors, get a bone densitometry done periodically. These ways can prevent osteoporosis. Many of the things that raise your chances for osteoporosis are things you can't change, like your genes, your age, and your sex. But that doesn't mean you can't prevent the disease. The things you do every day can be part of your plan to build strong bones. Exercise your bones. Just like your muscles, your bones get stronger if you give them a workout. Weight-bearing exercises are best for your bones. They're the ones that force your body to work against gravity as you move. That prompts the body to make new bone. Weight-bearing exercises include aerobics, climbing stairs, dancing, jogging, tennis and other racket sports, running, tai chi, walking, water aerobics, yoga. Strength training is also key to preventing osteoporosis. Your muscles pull on your bones when you work them, that builds bone strength. Calcium and vitamin D build bones. When your body doesn't have enough calcium, it will start to break down your bones to get what it needs. That means you lose bone mass. So it's important to make sure you have this nutrient every day in your diet or from supplements. Get it from low-fat or fat-free dairy products. Calcium-fortified juices and foods, like cereal, soy milk, and tofu. Sardines and salmon with bones. Dark green vegetables, like kale and broccoli. Vitamin D helps your body absorb the calcium you eat. Not many foods naturally have the nutrient, but you can get it in fatty fish, like salmon, mackerel, and tuna. Beef liver, cheese, and egg yolks. Fortified foods like milk, cereal, and orange juice. Your skin also naturally makes vitamin D when sunlight hits it. You can get at least some of what you need if you spend a little time outdoors every day. But don't overdo it, too much time in the sun raises your chances for skin cancer. And, don't drink too much alcohol. Having more than two drinks per day is linked to higher chances of bone loss. Quit smoking. It doubles the chance of bone loss and fractures by keeping the hormone estrogen in your body from working well. Women who exercise and train intensely can have three issues, thin bones, lack of a menstrual cycle, and eating disorders. It often happens to young women who stick to very restrictive diets even though they work out a lot. Athletes who have problems with their periods have lower estrogen levels. This often leads to lower bone mass. Drink less soda. Some findings show that colas, more than other carbonated soft drinks, lead to bone loss. It may be that the extra phosphorus in them keeps your body from absorbing calcium. Or it may just be that women are replacing calcium-rich drinks, such as milk, with soda. Medicine prevent osteoporosis. Some drugs can help the body maintain or build bone. Doctors often prescribe them for people, especially women, who have higher chances of getting osteoporosis or bone fractures. Ask your doctor if these drugs are a good idea for you. Bone density test. A bone density test measures a small part of one or a few bones to see how strong they are and can tell how likely you are to have osteoporosis. The most common one is called a dual energy X-ray absorptiometry DXA or DEXA, scan. It uses a small amount of radiation to measure your bone density. But the scan isn't right for everyone. The US Preventive Services Task Force says people who should get DXA scans for bone density include, women ages 65 or older. Younger women who have a higher than normal chance of fracture for their age talk to your doctor about whether the test is a good idea for you. Three ways using lemon and ginger to lose weight. Looking for a healthy, natural way to boost your weight loss program? Try lemon and ginger. If you're thinking about losing weight, the first step is always to learn to change your daily habits, improve your diet and gauge in a more active lifestyle. Then, you can complement your daily nutrient intake with some well-known weight loss allies. These include teas, smoothies, fat-burning fruits, and medicinal plants. Today, we're going to describe three ways that lemon and ginger can help you lose weight. Losing weight with lemon and ginger is possible. 
You may have heard that lemon and ginger, both together and separately, can help maintain your figure. Is this true, or is it just a myth? Of course, as you already know, there's no such thing as a miracle diet. All diets require some effort. It means that if you follow a lemon and ginger diet week after week but still keep eating fats, sugar and fast foods, then you won't lose any weight. You have to find a balance, and these two products are ideal complements when your body is already balanced. Here's how lemon and ginger help. How lemons help you lose weight. Lemons can help you lose weight and are also good for your overall health. They're rich in vitamin C and antioxidants, and their acidity promotes good digestion and protects the liver. But there's more, lemons have diuretic properties, which are detoxifying and therefore promotes the burning of fat. As you may have seen, some people follow a very strict diet for about 5 days while they eat mainly fruit, vegetables, and lemon juice. This is highly restrictive. However, it's not necessary to go to such extremes. Simply consuming lemon various ways and following a balanced nutritional diet every day will help you get the results you're looking for. How Ginger Root Helps You Lose Weight Ginger is an excellent medicinal root with a long tradition in the healing arts. It's ideal for reducing inflammation, improving digestion, reducing cholesterol, general relaxation, and of course, burning fat. Some use it to specifically target belly fat and have a flatter abdomen. Ginger is easy to find and there are many different ways you can prepare it to reap the benefits. 3 Ways to Lose Weight with Lemon and Ginger 1. Drink warm water with lemon in the morning. 2. Ginger Lemonade. 3. Green Tea with Ginger. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe to my channel Be Healthy.